I know many of you like when I do my junk silver purchase and hunts. So, I bought a whole bunch of old silver today. Hey everyone, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure, and that's right, we've got a junk silver purchase and hunt today. I went to my local silver dealer and I asked for anything 1963 and older. So Benjis and Walkers and Barbers, etc. on the half dollars. And then of course, dimes and quarters would also be SLQs, maybe some Barbers, things like that. I don't think I'm gonna have any Merc Dimes in here because I told them I didn't need any more Merc Dimes for right now. So the dimes should be older, like Barbers or less. And then the quarters should be SLQ or earlier. I told them I didn't need any GWs. That being said, we got a pretty good bag here, so I'm excited to get into it. I think what I'll do first is dump it out, and then we'll sort it by the domination type, and then we'll dig in further to see if we have any better dates, key dates, varieties, or just something nice to add to my albums. Let's get that dumped out now and see what we got. That is a lot of good looking old constitutional silver. I see all types of goodies in here and I really can't wait to get into it. Let me start stacking it up and I'll bring you guys back with a bird's eye view of what we got. So I've got all this old US constitutional silver stacked up. We got a ton of barber hats. I am excited to go through those. All I've done is stack them by type and denomination and that's all we've done for now. Two stacks of walkers, stack of Benjis. Look at all these barber quarters, crazy. And a nice little stack of barber dimes. No seeded stuff, no SLQs in this lot. I'm gonna comb through the walkers and Benjis first, get them all rolled up, see if we have anything special there. I'll bring in with the best finds of these two first, then we'll get to the barber stuff last. Let me see if we have any better dates, older stuff, or varieties in the walkers and the Benjis, and I'll be back. So I finished with the sort of the Walkers and the Benjis. For the Walkers, we had some decent dates. They're not in the best condition, but we have two 1917 Philadelphias, a 1918 Philadelphia, a 1918 S, slightly better date. We'll take it. And then the find of the Walkers, that's a 1919. And 1919 Philadelphia, less than a million minted, only 962,000. Even in G4 condition, it's about a $25 coin. So I'll take it. It's not in the best shape, like I said, but it is a better date and a tougher one to find. And normally you don't see them in junk silver purchases. So that's a good start for the walkers. As far as the Benjis, the two really best finds is this really nice 1954 Philadelphia common date, but better grade. And then we did get a better date, a 54S Benji. And even though it's not in that great shape, you don't find a lot of 54Ss. 52s's, 53s, or 55s in your lots, so I'll take that as well. Nothing fantastic as far as condition or better dates other than 1919, but that's a good start like I said earlier. Let me go ahead and put these aside. We'll start the barbers. We'll kick it off with the dime since that's a small stack first and see if we have any goodies in there. So the barber dimes didn't yield much. They're all pretty tough shape at the end of the day, but it was still fun sorting through them. I think the find of the Barber Dimes is gonna be this 1906 O. Barely legible date, but you can see the O on the back. That is a slightly better date, a little bit better than what you'd pay for normal Barber Dimes. So I might need it for my book, I'll have to double check. Again, not in great shape, none of them really are. It was the smallest sample set of the Barber stuff. Still fun to go through, slightly better date. I'll see if any upgrades, and then we'll move on next to the Barber Quarters. It's not the prettiest, but I did need a 1906-0 Barber Dime, and now we have one in the album. So we've gone through all of the Barber Quarters, and there is a lot. Now there's a handful of good finds here, which I will point out. We do have an 1893-P, 1894-S, not that much better dates, just older. The find of the hunt 
is going to be this 1906, and it's going to be hard to tell, but believe me, I've checked it. It's a 1906-0, and even in G4 condition, it's about a $60 coin, but this one's probably an AG3. But I can make the date out. We can see the mint mark. It is a better date. Happy to have it. We've got a bunch of common stuff here, 1897p, 1898p, 1899p. Some are in better shape than I would expect, but not the greatest date. 1901p, 1902p. Then we get to a couple of 1902 S's, which is a better date as well. And then we get to a 1903 and a 1903 S better date, and then a 1904 P. So we had four better dates between 1900 and 1904. Moving along to the top section, kicking it off with another better date. It's hard to read, but it's most certainly a 1905, not an 1895. It's a 1905 S. 1905 S, better date, about $30 in G4 condition, and it's not in G4 condition, but I'll still take it. Bunch of 1906s, 07s, 08s, 09s, no 090s though. 10s, 11s, 12s. We do have a 13D right here, but it again is pretty trashy and it is a better date, but the thing has been grinded, polished, sanded. Still, we'll take it. A couple of 1914s, 15s, and 16s. None of the better dates really in these years. We also had two that I couldn't identify a date on. I probably could work on them a little bit, but for sake of time, we just don't know what they are. One is a New Orleans Mint, and the other one's a Philly. If we figure that out before the end of the video, I'll include a clip. Now I've got to go through my barber quarters and see if I have any to add or any upgrades. I doubt I'll have any upgrades, but some of these better dates I'll probably be able to add. Let me go ahead and do that, and then we'll move on to the last section, which is the barber half dollars. So in my barber quarters, I was actually able to upgrade a couple of them, but I'm just going to focus on the ones I added. We were able to add that 1894S that we found from this junk silver purchase, so that makes me happy. We also were able to add the 1903S, so we've got that spot filled. And then finally, it's not the greatest shape, but a 1905S nonetheless is now put in the book. So the book is definitely getting closer to being done, and that's always a good thing, and that's what I hope for when I do the junk silver purchases. So we've gone through all the Barber Half Dollars, and there are quite a few here. There are some better dates. Namely, I'm going to go ahead and bring up that we got an 1894-0, a 1903-S. That 1905-P is probably the best find of the hunt. It's a better date. If I recall, only 662,000 of these minted. So we'll take it. I probably need it for my book as well. And then the 1915-S's, we've got a couple of them. They are slightly a better date as well, being minted in San Francisco. We'll have to take a look at those. Outside of that, we've got a lot of other ones in pretty tough condition, probably AG3 to VG8 in that range, but it's never a bad idea to stack some of the barber halves. Plus, I wanna see what I need for my album. I'll be back with some final thoughts after I check to see which ones I could use. So not many items to upgrade in my barber half dollar album. I actually only, added one coin, which was the 1894-0. So we've added an 1894-0, and then I was actually able to upgrade the 1915-S right here, and it's not a great upgrade, but we do have it. Outside of that, we only had one upgrade and one addition to my Liberty Head or Barber half dollars. Well, the final tally is I was able to upgrade one of the Barber Dimes, six of the Barber Quarters, upgraded or added to and only one barber half dollar that i need from that whole selection of coins that i had to go through At the end of the day though it was another fun junk silver hunt and purchase for me nothing spectacular but stuff for the collection no doubt and stuff for the stream if you enjoyed this junk silver purchase and hunt i'd appreciate a thumbs up and as always everyone happy hunting happy stacking and thanks for watching